So you know when you hug someone and they smell so 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 intoxicating? How do they do that? Hi guys, my name is Anvi and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be talking about a few tips and tricks to make you smell fresh all day. So you know how you buy an expensive perfume and it doesn't even last for an hour or two? That is upsetting. So we are going to be changing that. These tips and tricks are going to make you smell fresh all day. Uh, they are going to make your perfume last a little longer than it's supposed to. So first things first, shower. So I usually take my showers in the morning because they kind of wake me up for the day. And I take warm water showers and uh, you can always, always take cold water showers. There are a lot of benefits of cold water showers too. So as long as you have showered and your body is properly cleansed, you are gonna smell okay. <laughs> So I have added this one small thing, one small step in my shower routine which has made my skin a lot better and it also makes your perfume last a really long time. So exfoliating or scrubbing is a must you guys. So as long as you have a lot of dead skin cells on your body, the moisture that you put on top of it in the form of your moisturizer or body lotion, it isn't absorbed as well. And that's why you have to exfoliate your body once or twice a week. That is pretty enough. So I usually use these gloves, these exfoliating gloves. These I found from Amazon and these were pretty affordable. So these work really well. What you have to do is you just have to wear it like this and put your body wash on top of it and then you can go ahead and scrub your skin out like this. So this lathers the body wash pretty well and also scrubs your skin out. So this is a pretty cost effective way actually and it has worked really well for me. So yeah, you can go ahead and use these. I've linked the uh, prices and everything down below so you can go ahead and purchase these. So what do you do after your shower? So I immediately go ahead and moisturize my skin with a body butter or a body lotion of some sort. And it is very important to do it immediately because it kind of locks in your moisture. And it keeps you moisturized and supple all day. So these are the two body moisturizers that I've been using lately um, to moisturize my skin. So this is the Johnson's Body Lotion. And uh, it's in the variant Cotton Touch. This smells like a fresh, fresh baby. This smells really good. So this is not too oily, not too light. So this is very good for summers. And I have an oily skin type. So when you apply a body butter on your skin in summers, it gets very chip, 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 chip. So I don't like that. So this kind of absorbs in really uh, quickly and it's really good for summers. So I use this in the summers. And in the winters, I usually go ahead and put on a very nourishing or moisturizing body butter. So this is the one that I recently found. This is from Body Cupid. And this is in the variant Red Plum. So this smells so good. This smells really fruity and beautiful. So I am sure that you are going to like this scent. So I use this body butter all over my body. And yeah, so the texture is very buttery. It is very buttery. It's really nice and it absorbs into your skin really nicely. And it kind of leaves your skin really glowy. Look at that. So it absorbs in your skin very nicely and it doesn't even feel like oily or greasy. So yeah, this is a very good body butter and really affordable as well. So you can go ahead and try this one. So there's a tip that I'd like to share with you guys to make your perfume last so much longer. So when you're applying your lotion, uh, so let's take for example this one. This is the Johnson's lotion. So yeah, when you apply your lotion, take it in your hand. And uh, use the perfume that you are going to use for the day. Spray a few sprays on there. And then you go ahead and apply it to your skin. And you are going to be smelling like your perfume all day. Because this kind of locks in the moisture and the fragrance on your skin. So this kind of makes your perfume last so much longer. So after you apply your body lotion, when I'm feeling a little bit extra and I kind of want my fragrance to last all night, I'm going for a party or I'm going for an event where I can't afford to smell bad, what I do is, so I use the Johnson's baby oil on my skin. So this kind of 
definitely definitely locks the moisture into your skin and it makes your perfume your fragrance whatever it makes it last so much longer and it keeps your skin moisturized and shiny for so 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 long and this isn't even as sticky as you think an oil would be this kind of absorbs in really uh, well and it absorbs in really nicely so i just apply the johnson's baby oil all over my skin or i mostly do pulse points that is here on my wrist behind uh, my ears behind my neck and uh, near my collarbone area so now it's time for fragrance so before we move ahead into this i just want to clarify a small thing so when you buy a new perfume bottle do you observe what's written on there in really really small letters so it's usually written eau de toilette eau de parfum or an eau de cologne so what does that mean so this indicates the concentration of perfume oil in your perfume so as you all know by now a perfume consists of alcohol and perfume oil so in eau de parfum the concentration of perfume oil is more and that's why it will last longer and in eau de toilette the concentration of perfume oil is a little less than eau de parfum that's why it will last a little less and then in eau de cologne the concentration of perfume oil is very less so that's why it doesn't last as long so the next time before buying a new perfume bottle you definitely definitely have to keep this thing in mind and always preferably go for the eau de parfum or eau de toilette to show you i have one of all of these in here so this one is from united benetton and this one is called dream together and this one is an eau de parfum so this is a perfume concentration the next one is from Zara and this one is called Femme and this is an eau de toilette concentration. And the next one is a body mist and this one is from Bath & Body Works. So this is called Warm Vanilla Sugar and this is an example of an eau de cologne or a body mist. So usually after I moisturize my skin, I go ahead and use a deodorant. So using a deodorant is very very important because it kind of keeps you smelling fresh all day and it doesn't make you feel sweaty and gross it kind of keeps the sweat at bay so these are the two ones that i've been using lately so this one is from dove this one's called go fresh so this is a stick deodorant so you kind of just apply it like that and it works really well and it smells like peaches it kind of smells like peaches and it's really good and the next one is from Nivea this is the spray kind of deodorant and every single one of you have used a Nivea deodorant and have heard of a Nivea deodorant in the past and I'm very sure about that so yeah this one is the Dio Milk Beauty Elixir and this is in the variant sensitive this kind of smells very florally a little musky and uh, the scent is not overwhelming at all so this works really fine so now it's time for how and where to apply your perfume to make it last longer. So take your perfume and you just have to apply it on your pulse points where you applied the oil. So apply it on your pulse points. Again, behind your ear, behind your neck and on your collarbone. And let it dry. You don't have to do this. You don't need to do that. Let it dry on its own and it's going to last so much longer on you now. You can go ahead and spray it on your clothes like that to make it last longer because perfume sticks on clothes so much longer. So why did I spray this perfume on my pulse points? So pulse points are certain areas of your body which heat up more than the rest of your body. So when you apply your body oil or a perfume there, it kind of projects or emits more. So that's why it kind of lasts a little longer. So take your hairbrush, go ahead and spray some perfume on, let it dry and then brush your hair with it. What does this do? So this kind of locks in the perfume in your hair. So when you kind of flick your hair like that, you are going to smell good. Now sometimes it happens that you know that you are going to be out for a very long time. So that's when you carry a travel size. So this one is from Nykaa's Moa range and this is in the variant Bisu. So it has a travel spray like that. Go ahead and spray it on and retouch your perfume whenever you need. So you always need this in your purse at all times. Another tip, if you wear a lot of scarves and all, go ahead and spray it with your perfume. And this is gonna smell so so good all day. 
yeah guys those are a few of my tips to make your perfume last longer and how to smell fresh all day now i'm sure that you're gonna thank me because you are gonna be known as a lady who smells good all the time yes if you like this video please go ahead and give this a big thumbs up and if you'd like to share a few tips and tricks of yours as well please go ahead and share them down in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and push the bell notification right next to it so that you are notified every single time i upload another video and i will see you in my next one bye guys